click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we are going to study about the Portland cement. Portland cement was being actually discovered in 1924 by an English bricklayer and since then till now it is being used for almost every constructional use. For every engineering or at least conservation of old cultural heritages, Portland cement is one of the cement which people go to. Now there are two main things for any cement to make it a good cement. First is setting. And the second property is hardening. A cement should set properly. It should harden and become like a tough rock. Well, Portland cement has both these properties in good amount. So let us actually see how it sets and how it hardens and why it is one of the best cements which have been used. When cement is mixed with water to form plastic mass called cement paste which becomes quite rigid within time known as initial set or flash set. So the cements which we get are all in powdered form, they are all dry powder form. And these cements are mixed with water in equal proportions to form a paste like structure. Now these pastes are then set for few days to harden it and that hard structure then forms the basis or the foundation of the building or any construction that we are making. Well the cement paste which becomes quite rigid with time is known as initial set or flash set. That means that the hardened structure is known as initial set or also known as flash set. The setting and hardening of cement are mainly due to hydration and hydrolysis reactions taking place when there are different constitutional compounds present and interact with water. It is very important for any cement to set in proper amount of time and also to harden in proper amount of time and both these important properties are taken care by two important reactions. These two important reactions are hydration and hydrolysis. Now this hydration and hydrolysis does not take place at all when the cement is in its dry powder format. The dry powder format do not have any reactions going on in it. But once we mix it with water in proper proportions, this reaction start taking place. Let us look at the reactions which actually take place. The chemical reactions take place during the two phases are hydrolysis and hydration. We'll go through both of the reactions. Hydrolysis. By the hydration of cement, that is when water is mixed, the cement hydrolysis and hydration reactions take place. Now let us first see the two main reactions for hydrolysis. I have C3S plus X plus 1 H2O. Now what do we mean by X plus 1 H2O? X plus 1, the amount X is given as a variable because depending upon the amount of cement, we will put the amount of water in it. So over here it is just given X plus 1. So whatever X plus 1 H2O forms C2S plus XH2O in its gel form plus C.H2O in its crystals form. So now we get two forms in the product. One is the gel form, the other is the crystal form. Well, the gel form helps in sticking of two things. For example, I have one brick, I put a paste of cement and another brick on it. The gel form will help in sticking of both the bricks. Whereas the crystal form will help in the hardening of the cement. So the crystal form is the one that when two bricks are formed after some point of time the paste also hardens. If the crystal form is absent then there will be only gel form and there will be a lot of motion happening between the two bricks. It is very important that the paste, the cement paste which is present between the two bricks should harden and also stick both the things which are there. The another reaction that takes place is C4ALF plus 7H2O to which I get the product as C3Al.6H2O. This Al can be either written as Al which is aluminium or only A which means aluminate. This forms in the crystal form plus CF.H2O forms in the gel form. Over here also in the second reaction we got two products one in the crystal form and another in the gel form. For any paste of the cement it is very important to get the products in crystal as well as in gel form so that they perform both the setting and the hardening properties of the cement. The next we see is hydration. Let's see what exactly happens in hydration. Now we have another two reactions that are taking place in the hydration. Let us see that. 
C3S plus XH2O. Over here I have taken XH2O again. Why? Because it is a variable. Variable amount of water is added to it. Forms C2S dot XH2O which is in the form of gel plus CAO that is lime which is in the form of crystals. Now over here the gel is bonding material and gives strength to the cement. Finally, I have formed CAO lime, which is one of the most major constituents of any cement. The last reaction is C3Al plus 6H2O forming C3Al dot 6H2O crystals and it just forms heat. These four reactions are the major reactions which take place and these four reactions give products in the form of gel, crystal and lime format. And because of these products, we get the two most important properties of any cement. The first one is setting and the second one is hardening. So in this video, we studied the two important properties of any cement that is setting and hardening. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda.